Michael Domain. And I'm Andrea Mattis Domain. So we invited you here because we have a little project, an abandonment project to share with you. Because not everything that you abandon has to be this phenomenal art project that took you days and weeks and months. You can do something in just uh, a few minutes, really. The point is to come up with something that just will put a smile on someone's face. And what puts a smile on someone's face more than googly eyes? That's right, googly eyes. We're going to be using googly eyes, that, and cabinet cards. Whoops. You can use book covers, you can use old family photos, images off the internet, anything that has anything that has an image on it that has a face that we can use googly eyes. So mm -hmm. let's take a look and see what we can do with those. So as a collage artist, I've always got all kinds of leftover bits of paper um, sitting around the studio and I can't help but find some way to use them because the garbage can just doesn't seem right. So I'm just going to take a, a simple glue stick and uh, throw a little glue on. This is Antistel, I discovered by the, the back of the card. Um, so Antistel is going to get a quick makeover before she gets googly eyes. And so I'm just going to modify her outfit a little bit, add a little color. So again, just super quick and easy. And then of course, uh, we need our googly eyes to finish this off. And I think uh, we've got a couple of sizes here, and I think she kind of needs to have one of each just to add to the fun here. And I'm not worried about that glue spilling over. It'll dry clear. And So um, I think Antistel needs a, a little bit more adornment, so I'm going to just see what else I have here that might jazz her up a little bit. And uh, I love adding headdresses, so I think she's going to have to have one. And just with whatever random bits I happen to have around here. Let's see. Normally I'd like to pen this out a little bit more, but let's see how this goes. So that's the idea. Here's a, just a, an oil pastel. I'll sort of give her a little frame. And chances are I'd play with this uh, a little bit more, throw a little bit more um, collage material on. But you get the basic idea. And so there is our googly-eyed Aunt Estelle. All right, so there's uh, Aunt Estelle after her makeover and um, just a few scraps and she's ready to go. So um, I've got a, a big mustached dude here that we're gonna we're gonna alter. So um, in my little craft thing, all I'm gonna use is a white a white pen. You could use any type of pen. I'm just gonna use a white pen and the googly eyes. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna do some little designs around him. So I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna do some little squiggly lines. Give him sort of a squiggly halo. I'll come in and do this sort of thing. Just to adorn the piece a little bit, just to make it. I could just glue googly eyes on, but how much fun is that? And you know, I'm going to make this a little more sinister than Andrea's, so we're going to give him sort of big nasty teeth to go with his big burly mustache. And uh, I think I'm. Let's see. We'll kind of give him sort of weird little shapes coming around here. Of course, I'm going to adorn the frame a little bit. These are just using little dots and squiggles and lines. And let's see, we'll make him a little, as I said, we're going to make him a little more sinister too, so we might as well give him a little bit of a subtle rib cage thing going on here. And now, I have to decide what size googly eyes I want to use. So we'll look, take a look at the big ones. That's definitely very sinister, um, if not if not Cookie Monster-ish. 
So that might be an option, but yet let's take a look at a more subtle approach. Let's see what the smaller. I think I'm going to opt for the smaller just to make it a little less Muppet like. So, get my glue, little dab right on the eyes. And I'll let that dry. Of course, I might have to give him, now that the googly eyes are on, I might need to do something with his, his eyebrows, of course. And give him a slightly more prominent chin. So I'll probably mess around with him a little bit more, but um, I'll show you him when I, when I get him ready to abandon. So, Probably not something I would submit to the Smithsonian, um, but nonetheless, I think um, a fun little find for someone. So um, we're going to get ready to put this guy forth into the world. So uh, a match made in heaven. Or somewhere. And now we just have to figure out where we're going to abandon these. You know, I could kind of use a coffee right about now. Ah, the old coffee shop abandonment. All right. Good work. Let's go.